Trey, what did what did the season uh, show you about areas where you're going to be working this off season to improve your game in the likely event that that you're the starter next season? Uh, yeah, I mean, I learned a ton throughout this year. Uh, it was a ton of fun. Got to learn from from Jimmy, one of the best dudes, I think, in my opinion, that I, I could have possibly learned from, uh, you know, as a person, as a pro, um, how he handles himself. Uh, I mean, me personally, obviously, I know I got a lot to work on, so I'm excited to, to kind of hit the ground running after a couple weeks off. Um, but I'm just thankful for this opportunity, I guess, to, to be able to be a part of this year. Uh, I know it's not exactly answering your question of, of what I feel like I need to work on, but uh, just kind of where my mind's at right now is just just kind of reflecting a little bit about how, how thankful I am uh, to be able to have been able, to have been able to be a part of a group like this, uh, you know, all the way from from coaching staff, personnel, uh, athletic training staff, um, and obviously my teammates as well. Trey, what is your plan for the off season in terms of where you're going to work out, who you're going to work with, uh, what kind of things you're you're planning to attack? Uh, I haven't exactly figured it out. Um, haven't ha don't have a calendar set. Obviously, I was you know planning on two more weeks uh, of football with these guys. So uh, take a couple weeks and, and kind of think about it and, and put my schedule together, and then hopefully hit the ground running uh, when that time does come. What was the biggest eye opener to you this year? I mean, look looking back on the season, um, what about the NFL surprised you the most? I don't know if I could put my, my finger on one thing. Uh, just everything was new. You know, I, f I remember coming in, you know, rookie mini camp. Um, mindset is just to, to come in and be able to compete uh, and learn as much as I can. And I think I did that. You know, we had an awesome room this year, uh, awesome locker room. Uh, so for me, I don't know if there's one thing I, that necessarily surprised me, but I got to learn a ton. And, and the leadership that, that some of these guys in this locker room have is is the best that I've ever been around. Trey, one thing that's been very obvious over the last 24 hours in the last several weeks is how much this team does love Jimmy Garoppolo. Are you relishing the opportunity to become that type of leader for your team? And what specifically have you learned from him in that way that you'll be able to take into next year? I mean, Jimmy's the man. You've heard it from, from everyone. Um, it's No one's lying about it. I mean, he, he's, he's inspired so many guys in this room, everything he's played through this year. Um, everything he's taught me, how he's handled our whole situation. Um, you know, everyone put us against each other and everything like that in the media for, throughout this whole year, whole OTAs, everything. Uh, but, but he's been nothing to, like, but a big brother to me, you know, this whole year. Uh, so whether it's competing with him at practice or, or sitting in the meeting room asking him questions, uh, I mean, he's been, been nothing but great to me. Uh, and I, I've been nothing but just, just thankfulness for him. Um, and everything he's done and, and how he's handled everything. Um, and, and obviously he's going to be a, one of my best friends for, for my whole entire life. Uh, so super excited, obviously, to, to get to spend a couple of weeks with him now uh, in these next few weeks. Trey, you talked about what you learned in regards to football, but what did you learn about yourself this season after being kind of off in the field and off? Uh, yeah, I mean, just just learn how to be a pro from a lot of these guys in this locker room, uh, especially, you know, I go back to Jimmy for everything, uh, but it's the truth. He's the guy I spent probably the most time with throughout this whole entire season. Um, and, and just the way he handles himself, you know, on and off the field, uh, I think is, is again, the best I've ever been around. Uh, so for me, uh, I'm just thankful again for, for the opportunity to, to have him uh, be in front of me to learn from. Uh, learned a lot about myself uh, as far as just, what I have to continue to work on. Um, and obviously, like I said, the, the leaders in this locker room um, are our guys that inspire me every day. Trey, it's uh, pretty cliche to, you know, talk about professional athletes being competitive, but you are, are known for your competitive drive. Given that, how hard was it to, um, you know, from mostly sit this season and watch? Uh, I mean, for me, it was about finding my role as soon as I knew knew what it was. Um, it was it was Jimmy's spot. So for me, uh, I, I just attacked it the, the way I would, uh, the way my team needed me to. It was attacking my role on scout team uh, and, and doing whatever I can and, and doing whatever I need to be ready each week. Kyle spoke a lot about the value of, of running a scout team, especially when you're a young quarterback. Um, can, can you talk about that experience uh, sort of week to week? Um, you know, emulating a different quarterback and whether there were any weeks this year that stuck out to you that uh, you found truly valuable. 
Yeah, I mean, I learned a lot on scout team, um, being able to to play as, you know, and emulate different guys and, and play different playing styles that aren't necessarily my own. Uh, I think I gained a lot from it, you know, gain a lot from from playing guys who typically stay in the pocket and, and then going to guys like, you know, Jalen Hurts, Justin Fields, you know, those guys who can play off schedule at, at a really high level. Uh, I think I developed as a player and, and obviously going against our defense, uh, which which I thought was the best defense in the league. Um, going against our defense every single day, obviously, you know, every rep makes me better. Your last one with Jen. Trey, just health-wise, are you 100% healthier or is there anything you need to rehab as you head into the offseason? No, I feel great. Um, 100% healthy.